Okay, so I'm just gonna go over how I edit my photos and um, I do a sort of variation on the bleach bypass. Um, so I just have a really quick snap from up above um, of a breakfast shot. This is completely raw file. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the ankle a bit. So I know what part of the screen I'm working with. I'm going to yeah, that's the aspect ratio that I want. Let's have it like this. Okay. So that's my basic shot that I want to work with. So I have a crop the way that I want it to be. And I'm going to leave everything as is. This is a raw file that I'm working with. I'm going to um, pump up the exposure just a slight bit. You can play around with it depending on how dark or light you like your photos. Um, I also tend to pump up the contrast slightly. Maybe not 20, 15 is more like it. Um, I typically decrease the highlights a bit, but I pump up the whites. So I don't want my highlights to be blown out when I'm pumping up the whites. So I decrease it in proportion to how much um, white tone I want. Um, the shadows, I typically pump them up as well. So as you can see, it adds a lot more noise to your image. If um, you're working with JPEGs, this will be a lot worse. So working raws is preferable. This shot, I'll make a little bit less light in terms of the shadows. So I won't, so for darker, I, I tend to um, underexpose my photos. Since this photo is a little lighter, I'm going to go ahead and leave the shadows a bit more intact. So as you can see, the shadows are adding that darkness. And with the blacks, depending on whether the photo is underexposed or overexposed, and depending on what type of style of photo you have, you can go all the way up, or you can go down and create the harsher shadows. I go for moodier photos, so I tend to go a little bit darker. Now, clarity is basically contrast on uh, upped by 100%. You'll notice that there's also a thing called dehaze on Lightroom. It's right here in the effect. Dehaze is clarity on crack. So if you increase it slightly, you can see it literally does what it says, dehaze. So if your photo is a little bit more dreamy, you go this way, but I typically go this way, not, not that far. I'm not gonna use dehaze here. I sometimes pump it up to about three or four. I don't wanna overdo it. In terms of clarity though, I'll go to about 20 here. Now, this is where I do most of my uh, toning, that's kind of bleach effect. I increase my vibrance a little bit. So vibrance controls the hints of color and I decrease my saturation by a lot. That decrease in saturation will create that bleach tone effect. I do like to have a little bit of color in my photos, so I increase the vibrance a slight bit to about there. I'm satisfied with that. I'm probably going to increase my exposure just a little bit here. Now, here I just kind of up the highlights a little bit. 
and make the shadows a little bit darker. Now I drag this up and that's, you see what happened? It creates that sort of like vintage effect um, and it offsets the black a bit. So I like to drag it up just a bit to add a little bit of softness. I actually don't like too dark um, shadows, but I do like them a little bit more dramatic. So I guess I'm just gonna do that. So I play around with a tone curve quite a bit. In terms of the highlights, I think I like them where they are, but decrease that a tiny bit. Now then I go into my blue, and this is where I add the blue tinge to my shadows. As you can see, there it goes. There's the blue tinge. So I like to, it depends on the photograph really, but I like to pump it up slightly, and then I'll mess around with this a little bit. I like to have a cooler tone to my photos. And that's more of a, again, that comes down to your preference of how you like your photography, but this is what I do to create my effects. And there it is. Saturation, I typically go down a little bit on the orange, go down on the yellow, pump up the blue a little bit. And then I luminance sort of similar. I Again, depends on the photo and how you like it to look. For this one, I'll go a little bit lighter. This will be darker. And then this will be a little bit lighter. And I think I'm going to a little bit less blue. To go this way. Okay. I'm going to decrease this a little bit. There we go. And yeah, I think I do want to increase my shadows a little bit. Make it a little bit lighter. Okay. And then you can play around with exposure depending on the settings and depending on the exposure of your photo. All right, that's the basic adjustment. And as you can see, the before and after, the after it is significantly brighter. What I want to do now is open it up in Photoshop. So that's going to be my part two of adjusting this.